And it's Friday night when Indianapolis-based ITT Tech shut down. Thousands of students impacted were veterans. Yeah, classes just stopped and few other schools would accept their credits. And many vets had spent their GI Bill education benefits. Our Washington, D.C. Bureau correspondent Jessica Smith joins us now live uh, to explain how Indiana Congressman Luke Messer hoping to change that. Jessica, good evening. Good evening. If you were using federal loans to pay for tuition at ITT Tech, you could get those loans forgiven. But nearly 7,000 veterans were using their military benefits to pay for college. And as of right now, they can't get those benefits back and they have nothing to show for their work. When Central Indiana-based ITT Tech shut down, Indiana Congressman Luke Messer said he heard from veterans in his district who were stuck with no way to continue their education. It's not fair that these veterans would lose their GI benefits through no fault of their own and if we really care about them we need to do something about it. Messer says his proposal included in the GI Bill reform package would give veterans the chance to start over, finish college and land a job. Our legislation will restore those GI benefits and um, give those veterans the opportunity they earned. The Department of Education cut off federal aid to ITT Tech last year after investigating its recruitment tactics, lending practices, and job placement figures. Walter Ochinka with the group Veterans Education Success says for profit colleges often prey upon veterans. They make a lot of promises about, you know, you're going to get a degree quickly, you're going to be able to transfer your credits if you want to. Messer's proposal would restore benefits for veterans impacted by school closures dating back to January 2015. Ochinko says while the bill is a good step, he wishes it would go back even further. Sort of level the playing field for veterans. They would, they would be able to go back to school again. He went on to say Washington should do more to crack down on for-profit schools that put veterans at risk. It really shouldn't be a partisan issue. It should be about protecting taxpayer dollars and protecting the benefits that our, our service members have earned. Messer is confident his plan will get bipartisan support. This ought to be something we can get done. In addition to Messer's proposal, the bill would also remove that 15-year time restriction to receive GI benefits. Live in Washington, I'm Jessica Smith, 24-Hour News 8. And Jessica, before you go, do Democratic members of the Indiana delegation support this proposal? Well, Congressman Andre Carson's office said he's still looking at this bill, but at first glance, it seems like it's a good idea to protect Indiana veterans. Senator Donnelly's office said that he wants to ensure that Indiana veterans get all of their benefits, and he's actually working on similar legislation over in the Senate. Okay, so what comes next? Where, where does this stand? Right. The House Veterans Affairs Committee is set to discuss this bill on Monday. We'll have to see if this proposal makes it out of committee and on, goes on to the full House. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this story. All right. Jessica Smith live for us in Washington, D.C. Good to see you, Jess.